Hey guys, Brian here with another video. Just want to say I'm so, so sorry that I have not made a video sooner. That is my bad. Um, honestly, it's not that I forgot, it's just that I kind of just didn't want to. And yeah, I'm sorry. But I was doing something the other day and something came up and I thought it was very important and I thought this would be a perfect way to start making videos again. So here we go. This video is about what to do if you move. Um, so in my previous video, I think it was the previous video, I told you to get your Garda card, you have to apply, I don't remember how I got it anyway, but I, I talked about it in a previous video how to get your Garda card. And I said, what I did is I got mine in Galway and then I moved to Dublin and it, it was a lot easier to get in Galway. And then I just took it and moved to Dublin. Now, apparently you're not completely allowed to do that. Um, not that you're not allowed to move while you're here, but you have to tell them where you're going. You can't just up and move out of nowhere because they still have your Galway, or they still had my Galway address on file and didn't know that I had moved. So here's what happened. I was in Egypt with my dad. Thank you, dad, if you're watching. Um, amazing trip. I won't go into that, but <clears throat> I was in Egypt and coming back and I didn't know anything was wrong. I brought my, if you leave the country, you have to bring your passport, obviously, and your Garda card. Because that's your that's kind of like your visa and that lets them know that you're allowed to be there for longer than the stamp that's on your passport so i i walk up to the counter coming in through i think it's called customs or is that the, the food one I don't, I don't know if that's one where they check food or if that's the one where they check passports but yeah i'm walking through the airport i hand the guard my passport and my guard card and he looks at it and he looks at my passport and he pulls it up on the computer screen and he says, what's your address? Not, not saying I moved or anything, just, just making sure it was me. He said, oh, what's your address? So I told him my address in Dublin and he said, oh, that's not the address we have on file for you. And I said, oh, wh what address do you have on file? Is it my California address? And he said, no, it's a, it's a Galway address. And I said, oh, geez. Um, I used to live on Inishmore, but um, since then I've moved to, and then I told him my new address. And then he got pretty upset with me and he said, did you know, if you don't tell us that you move, you can, you can receive a 3000 euro fine and have this card suspended. And I said, no, I, I mean, I, and then I kind of told him my thought process was, I had to get proof of address to get my PPS and my bank account, and I just assumed that kind of overrided the Garda card. And he said, no, the PPS has nothing to do with this. You have to give us, you have to send us your address so we could put it on file for your Garda card. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And he said, well, if we needed to contact you, how would we do it? And I said, I don't know, I, I just didn't know I had to update it. And he was, he was kind of given out to me. Um, so yeah, so this video is to help you overcome that, not even have that be an obstacle. It's super, super easy to, oh, end of the story, by the way, I updated my address and didn't have to pay 3000 euros so far, so far yet, at least. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. This is very recent. I updated my address. They didn't look into it any further. He made it sound like they would, but they didn't. So Fingers crossed that they don't pull something up, that he didn't type something, and then when they're doing it, they pull something up and notice that it was months ago that I moved. But, fingers crossed. Anyway, so this video, <clears throat> I'm just gonna tell you how to update your address. It was honest, he made it sound like it was the hardest thing in the world, and they have to make an appointment, it's gonna take me another month. It took me five minutes. So, literally, on the train to your new uh, address, if you're moving, just send them an email. That's literally it. So it, it depends where you're moving to is the thing. All I know what to do is if you're moving from outside of Dublin to Dublin. If you're moving to somewhere else, 
I think it'll be the same process, just a different email address, but I don't know for sure. So you might want to try and contact someone to find out. But if you're moving to Dublin from outside of Dublin, easiest thing in the world. He handed me this piece of paper and he said, contact them and tell them where you're moving and the situation and see if they, since it's been such a long time, they might need to bring you in for an interview. But I just avoided saying the dates altogether. All I did is I emailed and I said, hello, I would, <laughs> I would like to report an address change and gave them my new address, said I moved from Inishmore to here, gave them my new address. They emailed back literally the next day and said, it was like the evening of one day and it was the next morning of the next. They emailed back and said, um, please respond with these four things and we'll update your your um, address for you. And I was like, okay, sweet. They didn't even ask about the date. So I sent them, actually I have the email, I can read it for you. I have my stopwatch going very uh, sneakily. I didn't even mention it this time. Um, <laughs> you guys remember that Six Flags song? Okay, reverting to... Here we go, address change, query. I like how they say query. Um, okay, so I emailed them and I said... Oh, this doesn't do that. Okay. So this is just the last two. So I emailed them and I basically said, this is my new address. They emailed back and said, I wish to acknowledge receipt of your email. Please be advised that you can do one of two things. You can either forward your new address, date of birth, nationality, and IRP registration number uh, to this email or call the registration office and fill, fill in a change of address form. I didn't want to go in and have them ask me something and then them find out. So I figured I'll just email. They actually said, since it's the holidays right now, I think they said because of that, they said, um, as the office is currently very busy, we prefer the email option. I, I guess I just assume because the holidays, because it's middle of December. But <clears throat> anyway, so all I did is I emailed them back and I said, thank you for the help. Here's the information you requested. And I said, name, colon, my name. They didn't ask the name, but they had my name wrong for my email. So I figured they would they would be able to match it to the registration number. And if it doesn't match, they would email back. So I sent them my name, the next line down, address, colon, my new address, and then birthday, colon, my birthday. And I still haven't been able to figure out the way they write dates here. I know what it is when I see R's and I know to reverse it, but when I'm trying to write it down, I mess up. So what I do is I just write the month, like, like so mine's December 7th. So I would write December 7th instead of 12 7 so they know it's December 7th. Because I think what they do, even if they're going to do it that way, is they would do 7, de 7 December or 7th December, comma, 1996. But... I figured it, it, it wouldn't matter if you see the, the month and the day, you could figure that out. So I do spelt out month and then day, comma, year. That's just in case. If you can mentally remember that you have to do 7 12 96 instead of 12 7, then good for you. You can do it that way too. Um, and then nationality under that, colon, USA, and then registration number colon and the registration number and now i should have had mine on you to show you but the registration number is not on the front of the card it's not like a, a credit card number that you'd see on the front it's on the back of the card and there is a what is it one two three there's a six digit number on the back of the card and it says something like registration number on it and they actually in the email that they sent me they clarified that because I guess that's a pretty common issue that they get people writing the number on the front of the card and not turning it over and writing the one on the back. So that's all I had to do. I emailed them. I sent them. Actually, you 
you could probably just send that email first instead of the way I did it and, and them clarifying how to how to send them the email. You can probably just send them, hello, I have like to report an address change. Here is the information you'll need. And then do name, address, birthday, nationality, registration number. I think that is, yeah, that is it. So you need name, address, birthday, nationality, registration number, five things, and no, on the card, registration number, five things. They shouldn't fuss about it. They'll just update it, and there you go. Um, now, as far as who to email that to, if you're going to Dublin, this is the card he gave me. I don't know if it's because I said Dublin too or just Dublin. I don't even think this is Dublin too. Where's the... Yeah, this is named Dublin too. So if you're going to Dublin, just send an email to this one. It is... Oh, where is it? Justice Dublin. That's not it. That's not it. Is that it? Uh, yeah, it's Berg Key Reg Office at justice.ie. I'm going to link to that in the description. So you can just copy and paste it. Or I, I don't think you'd be able to click on it. I'm not sure. But just copy and paste it and email them. It's B U R G H Q U A Y R E G O O F F I C E at justice.ie. And I will put that in the description. So you can get it. And like I said, if you're not going to Dublin, if you're moving from Dublin to somewhere else, if you're moving from somewhere else to somewhere else, I don't know who you're gonna have to contact, unfortunately. And this one isn't it, because somewhere on it, it says, if you're, oh, here we go. If you're not living within Dublin area, you are required to report your local Garda station with the time limit endorsement on your passport. Um, Yeah, registration directions. So yeah, so you'd have to, you could probably call the, the your local, um, what do they call it, local Garda station, just call them, find out what to do to report an address change. If you're moving to Cork, let's say, look up where the closest registration, no, Garda station is to you and just call them and say, hey, I'm moving. Do I have to come in or can I just send an email like I can with Dublin and they should let you know. But if you're moving to Dublin, that's it. It's honestly way easier than I expected. I don't know why the guy made such a big fuss about it and made me think I was gonna have to pay 3,000 euros. I, I was freaking out for like a day while I was waiting for the response and to send out the email. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna afford this? I'm gonna have to go home early and I don't know, hope that they forgive me if, if I leave the country, I don't know. But yeah, so all is good. Um, that is it. And again, I would like to say I am sorry I've not made a video in the past, I don't know what's been, four months maybe. <clears throat> um, I plan on making new videos. I was thinking about videos to make, and then every time I was like, oh, I should film a video, I was either in the middle of watching a show or doing something else. And then when I had free time, <clears throat> one video I wanted to make, the weather wasn't good. And then I just, I don't know. I just used that as my excuse not to make any video. So yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> <clears throat> but a video I do want to make is one about biking. I guess it's more of a series. I've been thinking about it. One about biking in Dublin because I have heard people say it's dangerous. So just I just wanted to kind of give you all the information possible about biking in Dublin so you can be as safe as possible. So I do want to make a series about that, um, in my head at least, I don't know if it's going to play out perfectly like this, but I want to make one video about um, kind of the rules for biking and what bike bikers do here, a video about the different ways you can get bikes, and that one might actually be three videos, four videos long, three or four videos long. So it would either be a two video series or a five video series. Um, there was one other video I wanted to make with that one as well, if I think of it. But yeah, and then if you guys have any other questions or concerns or comments, let me know down below. Uh, I'd love to know if these videos are helping you at all. And if they are, 
fantastic. That's what they're for. If they're not, let me know what else I can do to help you. And yeah, I will see you guys in our next video.